My name is Jordan Spector. I graduated Temple 2015 from CPH. So I've been, I've been drawing since I, I was a kid. Um, anything that I enjoyed in life, whether it was cars, airplanes, whatever I could find that struck my interest. I specifically wanted to go to Temple because of the, being in the city, the opportunities, and I wanted to go to a bigger school. And I actually, coming to Temple, did not plan to play football. And I actually found a group of guys that were training to try to walk onto the team. So for about six or seven months, I, I trained as hard as I could. I actually was in the best shape I ever was in my life, the fastest, the strongest. And it all comes down to one tryout. I ended up making the team as a, as a walk-on. Being at Temple and being having the privilege to be on that team was, was a really cool experience, especially when that year when we played Penn State or Notre Dame. It was a really incredible experience being at the link and even being able to touch your feet on that field in the link, you know, where the Eagles play, because I'm a huge Eagles fan. It was a, a really amazing experience to, one, make the team as a walk-on, but then uh, year two playing at Temple, I got hurt. So that was one of the hardest decisions for me. After all the work I put in, after the milestone I, I hit, I decided to walk away and quickly I, I found myself pivoting back to art, which is kind of my, my roots and what I've done so long in my life that brought me a lot of joy. So really, if that injury hadn't happened, I don't know, I don't know where I'd be today. I don't know if I would have returned to art in the way that I did as a way to express my passion for football and other sports. So it, it's kind of cool to look back and I always say everything happens for a reason. I officially established Spectre Sports Art in 2018 as an actual LLC. The art all started at Temple, really, and it all started in my room, in the house I lived on on Carlisle, off campus. You know, that, those are some of the first pieces I made that were kind of big hits or that got some notoriety. You know, doing work for guys that I played with like Tyler Medikevich, Deion Dawkins, Hassan Redick. Those are some of the guys I started with that I had a relationship with, that loved my art, that appreciated what I made for them. You know, and even, even this one behind me of the owl was really one of the first things I made that people really loved. And, and I still have it within my collection today, which is pretty cool. But I literally made that sketch back in 2015. So it's been so long now and it's still, uh, you know, one of my most popular, especially temple pieces that I have. As a former temple student and athlete here, it, it means so much to me to still be involved. I've always wanted to have a way to still be connected to temple, being able to still come back and use my art especially to help raise money for the Owl Club and be involved there. It really means a lot to me. It's just exciting for me and I always want to be involved in some way.